Canvas contains a feature called Conferences, which are primarily used for virtual lectures, office hours, and student groups. Conferences makes it easy con to conduct real-time lectures for all the students in your course. Conferences is not in your course navigation for students by default, but is very easy to add. In the course navigation, click on Settings, then choose the Navigation tab. Drag Conferences from the lower inactive list to the upper list, then click Save. Conferences will now appear in the course navigation for students. In the course navigation, click the Conferences link. Click the New Conference button. To create a new conference, type a name for the conference in the Name field. If you want to set a time limit on how long invited members are able to join, enter the number of minutes in the Duration field. The time limit will begin when the presenter starts the conference. If you want to enable recording options, select the Enable Recording for this conference checkbox. As part of creating or editing a conference, you can choose to set up your conference to be recorded. Once this setting is enabled, you can start and stop the recording as necessary in the conference's interface. If you don't want to set a time limit for the conference, you can create a long-running conference by selecting the No Time Limit. To create a description, type Description in the Description field. By default, all members of the course will be invited. If you want to select specific members of your course, deselect Invite All Course Members and then select the checkboxes for the individual members you would like to invite. To save the conference settings, click the Update button. Click the Start button to start your conference. Once you log in, you will be asked to select how you wish to connect via computer, microphone, or by calling in. If you choose the computer, you will have a brief audio test. As the moderator and default presenter, you have several options for your presentation. To add files to your presentation, click the Upload icon. To advance or back up your presentation, click the arrow keys. To start a poll and gather feedback in your presentation, click the Start Poll icon. Desktop sharing allows you to share your screen with other participants in the conference interface. In the menu bar, click the Share Desktop icon. View the overview of the download process. The overview is specific to your operating system and browser. If you want to view a video about installing the Java application, click the Help icon. When you are ready to start the download, click the Start button. Locate and open the ScreenShare.jnlp file on your computer. View the Java window requesting the download and run the big blue button screen share. Click the Run button. If you have trouble installing the Java file, you may need to update Java to the most recent version. Java will confirm you are sharing your desktop. Click the OK button. Note if you stop sharing or need to share again, you will have to repeat the file download process. To leave the conference, click the Logout button. Depending on how you created your conference, your conference may conclude by itself or you may wish to conclude it manually. Conferences created with a time limit will remain active for the duration of the conference. To end a conference manually, return to the Conferences page. Next to the name of the conference, click the End button. Once the conference has concluded, the conference will appear in the Concluded Conferences section of the conference page. If you have recorded your conference, it will take a few minutes to process, but once it has, the recording will show up under the drop-down menu under your concluded course.